Domain management. In this lecture, we're going to learn more about how to set up your sending domain in Parat. So let's begin with actually what is tracker domain. Tracker domains are known as C names and they enable you to mask your Parat hosted content like landing pages, forms, or files with your branded URL. So, for example, if you don't set up your own tracker domain in Parat, and create an asset like custom redirect that you would like to include in your Facebook social post to track, it would begin with go.parat.com. Who are multiple tracker domains for? In the 2019 August release, Parat made it possible for one Parat org to have more than one tracker domain. This is after many customer requested it because their company operate and market in different regions, Companies have several separate domains for each of their product lines. Enterprises are comprised of many companies or multiple subsidiaries. Companies need to have multiple tracker domains for each business unit or companies just operated on more than one website. Why does tracker domain matter? Branding is one of the most important assets of any business, large or small, B2C or B2B. By setting up your tracker domain in Parat, you will be able to stay on brand and create a seamless browsing experience for your visitors. They will not even notice and realize that after clicking on a button or a tab on your website, they have been redirected to a Parat landing page with a gated content, for example, or registration page to your upcoming webinar because your Parat tracker domain will be almost exactly the same. And when I say almost the same, one thing you will need to know is that tracker domain cannot be precisely the same as your corporate domain. Therefore, I recommend you to choose the alias that gives your visitors the best possible user experience. For example, if your domain name is ParetoPie.com, then your domain C name can be WW2 or Go or info or events.paretopie.com and so on. Can I have multiple tracker domains? Yes, based on your Parat edition, you can have up to 20 tracker domains. This means if your client is a large company that operates in different countries or manages multiple brands and wants to have them all under one business unit, you can create multiple domains that users can select when creating assets like files, forms, and landing pages. For example, let's imagine we are implementing Parat for Pareto Pie International. Pareto Pie operates in United States, United Kingdom, and Latvia. When they are creating a landing page for each country, they want to choose the appropriate domain for each landing page so that visitors can actually still think that they're browsing on that country's website. Now, let's create a tracker domain ourselves. For that, we will navigate to Parat settings and then domain management. Scroll to the tracker domains and click on plus add tracker domain button. Now you can see that I have one of our domains added here already. For the purpose of this lecture, I will be using our website domain to go through the setup with you together. In this space, I'm going to type in our domain that is ParetoPI.com and I'm going to hit this Create Domain blue button. So the first thing that you're actually going to see are these three red errors over here. By clicking on this expected DNS entries, you're actually going to see what Pardot is expecting us to do. So what it wants, it wants us to create these text records over here in our email hosting server. So let's talk about each of them so we better understand what we actually need to do. SPF record. SPF stands for Sender Privacy Framework. And we want our statement to include the following phrase over here. What it is doing, it's actually letting the users who are emailing see when email comes in from ParetoPie.com and it would be actually uh, letting uh, them know that Pardot email server that is sending that email is properly authenticated and uh, can send actually this email to them and it's safe. 
If you do not have this SPF record and these other two domains set up over here the right way, uh, what your email recipients might see is that when they get email, there might be a message saying that this sender has not been trusted or verified or authenticated and that they should be careful uh, moving forward. So what we are going to do is we're going to make sure this doesn't happen. So we're going to set up this SPF domain key policy and domain key text records in your email server. And our goal will be to get rid of these three errors over here, just like we have on the bottom. I will now open my hover account. The setup, of course, will be alike if you're using GoDaddy or any other domain provider. When I log in, I will want to find the domain specifically that I just entered and used in Pardot. So, for example, you can click on this view all domains and then you're going to see all your domains. But because in this specific account, I have only one domain. So I will be looking for the DNS tab over here. And now I'm going to click on this DNS tab. Then I'll need to click on add a record green button over here. And the first record that we are going to create is a text record. So I'm going to in a type drop down, we're going to select text record. Now you can see some changes happened on the screen. In a host name, I'm going to enter add sign and then I'll just copy in the values from Pardot. So let me go back to the Pardot and I'm going to copy all this text over here and I'm going to back and I'm going to go back to the hover and in the content block, I'm going to paste it. One thing I wanted to mention is specifically about this thing, V equals SPF1. So what it actually see, it means that I have not set up any other email services with this email domain. Hence, it has this SPF1. And it is important that you do not create a second one. So what you will do in the case if you already have something set up over here, you are going actually only to copy this value over here and then add it to your existing one if you already have. Uh, now let me go back to the hover account and then TTL. So TTL actually means time to live and it can be adjusted, but I'm going to leave 15 minutes as that's the uh, smallest amount that we have. And now I'm going to click on add record over here. Perfect. So one is done. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Pardot account and now we're going to be creating a new text record for domain key. So the domain key policy needs to work on a special subdomain. So let's go back to hover. And before we do that, we're going to copy this underscore domain key over here. We're going to go back to hover. We're going to add new record again. We're going to select the type text. And in the host name, we're going to paste this underscore domain key value. And then the entry is going to be the text that again, we're going to copy from Pardot. And this will be this little one over here. And we're going to paste it in the content. And I'm going to leave my TTL the same as previous and click add new record. Perfect. And then the finally our domain key itself. So let me go and click on add a record. It will be again text record. Now let me go back to the Pardot account. Now our domain key is going actually to be this value over here. 200 608 dot underscore domain key. That's our unique domain key. And I'm going to paste it in the host name. And this is actually the specific domain key that Pardot will be looking for. So now I will gonna go back to the Pardot and now I will gonna copy this long value over here. And I'll gonna go back to hover, paste save, paste over here and click on add record. Perfect. In 15 minutes, you can return back to your Pardot account, hit check DNS entries button over here and it should be verified. Pardot documentation states that it usually takes up to 24 hours to get verified. So sometimes it could take a little bit longer. Just be patient.